We've all heard about motorcycle clubs or seen them in movies, but today we're digging into the ganglands of the gritty and dangerous world of motorcycle gangs, where loyalty, fraternity, brotherhood, and a fierce sense of independence dominate and rule the road. In this episode, we'll look at one of history's most ferocious outlaw battles, the struggle between the famed Hells Angels and the Sons of Silence. Buckle up, because this is the hardest outlaw war. What was the reason for the conflicts and disputes, and what was the role of law enforcement? So let us begin with our episode. Before we jump right into their war, let's rewind and take a look at the origins and expansion of these two infamous motorcycle clubs. Hells Angels, expansion. The club expanded rapidly in the post-war period, attracting members who shared a rebellious spirit and a love for the open road. By the 1960s, the Hells Angels had established chapters across the United States and even internationally. The club's name became synonymous with the outlaw biker lifestyle and they developed a distinctive insignia featuring a winged skull. Activities and reputation. The Hells Angels rose to prominence as a result of their engagement in a variety of illegal activities, including drug trafficking, extortion, and violence. Their defiant appearance and combative stance toward law enforcement added to their mystique and helped to establish them as a symbol of the outlaw motorcycle club subculture. Sons of Silence. The Sons of Silence. Motorcycle Club was founded in Colorado in 1966 by Bruce Gale, the Colonel Richardson. The club emerged during a period of increased interest in motorcycle culture, and like the Hells Angels, it embraced the outlaw lifestyle. The founding members shared a passion for riding, brotherhood, and a desire to establish a presence in the motorcycle club scene. Expansion. In the years following its foundation, the Sons of Silence expanded their influence, establishing chapters in various states. The club maintained a lower profile compared to some of its more infamous counterparts, but it developed a reputation for engaging in criminal activities, including drug trafficking and organized crime. Club Colors and Insignia The Sons of Silence adopted distinctive colors and patches, featuring a skull with a Native American headdress. The club's insignia reflected its roots in the American West and added to the mystique surrounding the organization. Since the 1960s, outlaw motorcycle gangs have been a thorn in the sides of U.S. law enforcement. These hazardous organizations are now involved in criminal activity on both coasts and throughout the American heartland. They smuggle drugs over borders and engage in a variety of other crimes, ranging from contract killing to petty thievery. Because of their prominent role in the American underworld, outlaw bikers have long been mythologized in movies, TV shows, and literature. One of the primary catalysts for the war between the Hells Angels and the Sons of Silence was territorial disputes. The rivalry. The rivalry between the Hells Angels and the Sons of Silence emerged as both clubs sought to establish dominance over territories, especially in the lucrative drug trade routes. This territorial ambition, combined with their rebellious and confrontational nature, set the stage for a prolonged and violent conflict. Over the years, this rivalry manifested in various clashes, including street battles, bombings, and attacks on clubhouses. The war between the Hells Angels and Sons of Silence became emblematic of the broader conflicts within the outlaw motorcycle club subculture, characterized by a fierce sense of loyalty, independence, and a willingness to use violence to protect and expand territory. The outbreak of violence. As tensions reached a boiling point, the streets became battlegrounds for these two criminal motorcycle organizations. The eruption of violence was characterized by severe clashes, with each side attempting to exert supremacy. Shootouts, stabbings, and bombs became all too prevalent, indicating that this was no longer a rivalry, but a full-fledged war. Innocent bystanders often found themselves caught in the crossfire and chaos, and law enforcement agencies fought to keep the mayhem under control. The conflict between the Hells Angels and the Sons of Silence was out of control, leaving a path of destruction in its wake. The war wasn't confined to the streets alone. Both clubs carried out arson and bombing attacks on each other's clubhouses. The tit-for-tat nature of these strikes fueled the fight with each side ready to strike harder than the last. The role of law enforcement and the police raids. Throughout this turbulent time, law enforcement organizations battled to keep the bloodshed at bay. 
Some opponents say that certain parts of the law enforcement community may have purposefully or unwittingly worsened the conflict by employing strong techniques against both clubs. What police did to control the chaos, raids on clubhouses, arrests of key members, and continual surveillance intensified the Hells Angels and Sons of Silence feud. The battle evolved into a complex network of criminality, law enforcement action, and a never-ending quest for dominance. The Impact on Residents The Hells Angels vs. Sons of Silence fight had far-reaching implications for the neighborhoods where these battles took place. Not simply the clubs involved. Local residents were terrified, businesses suffered, and the reputation of these once peaceful areas was tainted by the threat of violence. In some instances, community leaders and activists tried to mediate, calling for an end to the bloodshed. However, their efforts often fell on deaf ears as the war between the Hells Angels and the Sons of Silence raged on. Legacy of the War While the war officially ended, its legacy continues to linger. The Hells Angels and Sons of Silence are no longer publicly at odds, but there is still a sense of tension between them. The scars of the fight are still visible, acting as a continual reminder of the bloody conflict between these two infamous motorcycle organizations. The war and bloodshed come to an end? The ferocity of the fight began to fade as the years passed. The cost to both teams, as well as the towns caught in the crossfire, grew too high. Many members risked imprisonment, and both the Hells Angels and the Sons of Silence concluded that the continuous battle was unsustainable. In the aftermath of the war, both clubs experienced changes in leadership and internal dynamics. Some claim that the battle prompted introspection, leading both the Hells Angels and the Sons of Silence to reconsider their aims and public image. And there you have it, the harrowing tale of the outlaw war between the Hells Angels and the Sons of Silence. It's a narrative of territorial disputes, bloodshed, and the long-lasting consequences for the towns caught in the crossfire. As always, if you appreciate this in-depth look at Motorcycle Club history, please like, share, and subscribe. And of course, click the notification bell to remain up to speed on our most recent material. Until next time, remain safe and curious.